Nordic students, so welcome to Experiment and Techniques and Material Characterizations, lecture number two. I'm Dr. Purvez Ahmed. Uh, in this lecture, uh, we will continue uh, scanning electron microscopy. Uh, this will be the second part uh, uh, of the lecture on the scanning electron microscopy. Uh, here on, uh, we, will have, uh, this, uh, we will have to do the discussions on a different part of scanning electron uh, microscopy. So let's proceed towards uh, today's lecture. Uh, so here you can see that uh, we have a comparisons of the internal, uh, internal and external part of a scanning electron microscope. Uh, so here you can see that uh, this 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 is called this is called the electron gun. Uh, and this is uh, uh, I mean the the gun alignment control. So it's like here this part of the uh, scanning electron microscope. So here we have the airlock wall. This is the airlock wall. So here you can see this. It looks like white. This one, and here this portions uh, uh, we have the part that is called condenser uh, lenses. Uh, but we remember here in this particular lecture we we are only discussing about different part. Uh, later on in the coming uh, lecture uh, we will have a detailed discussions on what actually these different part uh, uh, do and the scanning electron microscopy. I mean, so we will have discussed the, the function of these different parts, but that will be in, uh, in another lecture. So here uh, we have the objective uh, aperture, uh, which is here, you can see it. Uh, then we have uh, the scanning coil. So these are the scanning coil. The function, again, I'm mentioning, uh, we will discuss that in a separate lecture. And here we have the objective lens. Uh, motorized stage and uh, sample uh, chamber. Uh, in more detail, you can see it here. I mean, it's more detailed internal view of the uh, scanning electron microscope. So here you can see that we have high voltage cable. Uh, that cable is being connected to the filament and in order to generate the electrons. And here uh, uh, we have the, the walnut cylinders, uh, then the anode, uh, and then the, the spray apertures, the condenser lenses, adjustable apertures. Uh, we have scanning coils. These are the scanning coils. Uh, we have objective aperture. Uh, this is the objective aperture. And uh, here on uh, is objective lens. And here you can see the detectors. Uh, this is uh, this detector is basically the uh, ADX uh, detector. And here we the, this this is the end product camera, and this uh, scaling electron uh, detector, uh, and here you can see that we have back scatter uh, electron uh, detector. This is the back scatter electron detector. So here you can see that how these different part uh, they are being connected with a computer screen. So here uh, I mean you can easily understand the logic. Uh, that how uh, the electrons uh, they are being detected with the help of different detectors and then all these wiring uh, they are moved to a computer screen so here you can easily uh, get the, the image uh, and the ADX spectrum of the specimen or the sample uh, which you analyze uh, with the help of your scanning electron uh, microscope so a typical image formation and say um, uh, is also shown here I mean, here you, we have just uh, given the uh, internal part, the detail of the internal part, and how uh, I mean the different uh, functions uh, they are being performed by the SEM uh, as shown here. But here, uh, I mean, how the image is formed in the SEM, uh, you can uh, visualize it for by yourself. So here we have uh, a beam. Uh, we have an electron beam. So this electron beam is scanned over a specimen. So this is a specimen. Uh, and this specimen is uh, scanned and rest in patterns and synchronizations uh, with a beam and uh, CRT. So here is the uh, CRT. So what happened? Uh, intensity at A on the CRT, uh, that is cathode ray tube, uh, is proportional to the signal uh, detected uh, from A on the specimen and uh, these signal the detected signal these are being modified with uh, being amplified uh, with the help of uh, an amplifier 
So this is how uh, I mean image uh, formation occur and scanning electron uh, microscopy. And uh, this is the uh, different magnifications images uh, of uh, scanning electron uh, microscopy. I mean here you can see that uh, there is uh, at larger uh, I mean uh, at low magnifications is how the object look. And this is the uh, the image. Uh, what you can say uh, is the uh, example of series of increasing magnifications uh, uh, macro grab of spherical lead particles. Uh, these are basically the spherical lead particles. Uh, that is uh, the image has been taken with the help of scaling electron microscope. Uh, so here you can see that in low magnifications, uh, that's how it look like. Uh, then we have uh, increased the magnifications. So you can see that this part, uh, this part is being uh, magnified. So here you can see that how uh, it look in the magnified uh, portions. And then uh, this particular portion is being selected here and modified, uh, sorry, and magnified form is shown here. And then we have selected this portion, a small portion, and it's been magnified and shown here. So that's how, uh, I mean, the look changes with the magnifications, with different magnification uh, inside uh, the HCM. I mean, again, let me repeat it again. Uh, this is a low magnification image uh, that is taken with a scale of uh, 100 micrometer. So inside this, we have selected a small portions on a particular sphere. So here you can look at, uh, you can see it by yourself that how this small portion look at higher magnification. Then inside this uh, magnification, this magnified image, we take a small portion and this small portion is magnified and shown it uh, here. Uh, separately, you can uh, visualize that how it looks like. And now, uh, inside this uh, micrograph, we have taken again a small portion and it's been magnified and shown here. So here you can see that how it looks like. And look at the scale. This is the scale is 0 0.1 micrometers. So this is the, how the image, uh, I mean, uh, uh, the look of the image changes with the uh, magnification. Uh, here we have shown a comparison of the uh, SCM, uh, that is scanning electron microscope with the transmission electron microscope and optical uh, microscope. So if you have a clear look uh, on all of these three uh, microscopes, so you can analyze that uh, the principal feature of an optical microscope and transmission electron microscope and scanning electron microscope uh, drawn to emphasize the similarity of overall design. I mean, uh, the overall designs of all these microscopes is almost, almost uh, similar. So here you can see that uh, uh, in light microscope, optical microscope, we, we basically utilize uh, the light source. But unlike that, I mean, the principle is uh, almost, almost same. So in SAM and TAM, we basically utilize uh, the source, instead of light source, we utilize a source of the uh, electrons. And then in optical microscope, we have condenser. Uh, so instead, of, we have the condenser here uh, in the SAM and also in TAM, uh, but the condenser lenses, they are being made from the, uh, I mean, uh, uh, they, they are magnetic lenses, uh, I mean, the, the condenser lenses, uh, they are not made from the uh, glass, instead they are being made from uh, magnetic, uh, from magnetic lenses. Uh, I mean, instead of glass lenses, we use the magnetic lenses. And we will specify the reason that why we are doing so. And then we have the specimens. Uh, so the specimens, I mean, here is here. Uh, we have it here uh, in the uh, TM. Uh, but in case of the scanning electron microscopy, we have it here. And then the objective, so here uh, we have the objective, it's lying here uh, in case of the optical microscope. And here is the objective in case of TM. And uh, I mean, we have it here, uh, the objective, uh, I mean, you can see it here, it's lying here. So then we have eye fees, uh, I mean, you, you, you can visualize here by yourself. So uh, we have the projector here. And here we have the image, uh, we, we, we uh, view the image directly in optical microscope. So unlike that, uh, in TAM, 
uh, we have image on the fluorescent screen uh, and in case of the uh, uh, SEM scanning electron microscopy we have CRT that is cathode ray tube uh, that is being linked with the a computer screen where we have uh, the detailed image I means uh, an optical microscope we have a direct image uh, that we can see uh, with the help of the light but in case of the optical micro uh, in case of the TAM and SAM uh, we have the image permissions uh, that is being visualized with the help of a, a computer uh, screen so that's all we have for this lecture uh, thanks for watching uh, see you in next lecture very soon uh, that will be uh, the third part uh, of the discussions on scanning electron microscopy and that lectures uh, we will discuss that how an electron beam is uh, produced and scanning electron microscopy. Uh, so thanks for watching. See you then. Till then. Bye bye.